Hi, I'm Chef AJ and welcome to Healthy Living. You know, healthy living starts with healthy eating. So I'm going to show you some healthy and delicious recipes that will help you to look and feel your best. Joining me in the kitchen today is John Joseph, the lead singer of cro an accomplished Ironman triathlete and the author of Meat is for Pussies. John has an incredible life story where he triumphed over adversity and following a plant-based diet was a huge part of his recovery. I can't wait till he shares his story with us. So please join me in the kitchen and let's get cooking. So I'm here in the kitchen with John Joseph, the lead singer of the Crow Mags, Iron Man triathlete and author of the spectacular book, Meat is for Pussies. Thank you so much for being here, John. Thank you for having me. So we're going to make some yummy vegan recipes that I know you're going to enjoy. The first one is actually from a friend of ours, Rip Esselstyn. My homie. That's right. Rip Esselstyn, <laughs> Engine 2 Diet. Triathlete just like you. Triathlete. Stud. He said this is his son Cole's favorite soup. It's called Cole's Creamy Cauliflower Soup. And I'm following Rip's recipe from the Engine 2 book, except what I'm doing is I'm making it in a pressure cooker. Right. I love the electric pressure cooker, the Instant Pot. Do you have one? Uh, my mom does, yeah. and it expedites the process it, in the kitchen. It's, it, uh, she's been using it since uh, the 70s, except now at least she's... Uh, vegan so now she only puts veggies in there good for her good for her <laughs> well what's great is you can have a pressure cooker cookbook and they're great but i found that i can adapt any recipe to the pressure cooker like i'm doing with rip's recipe and all you have to do is find out which ingredient takes the longest to cook and that's how much time you use right. in the pressure cooker i already have four cups of low sodium vegetable broth i'm adding one head of cauliflower that's been chopped three cups of organic Yukon gold potatoes, which I've chopped. Beautiful. Looks good. Four cups of onion. I like red onion, that's why I'm using it. Two large carrots chopped. Half a cup of celery. And two tablespoons of raw coconut aminos. I happen to be allergic to soy, so I can't use soy sauce or tamari. Right. And what raw coconut aminos is, is simply a wheat-free, soy-free, gluten-free soy sauce. That's all you do. You put the top on. Simple. I love this Instant Pot. You push one button. I'm going to put eight minutes on the pressure cooker. And while it cooks, we're going to have a lot of time to talk and find out about your very interesting life. I have something really interesting to show you. You know when you have vegetables, like you have the peel of the onion, the stem of the cauliflower, right. the celery. Anytime you have scraps, save them in a one-gallon bag. Put them in the freezer. When this is full, you put it in your Instant Pot with 8 to 10 cups of water, any seasonings you want, you have free vegetable broth. Wow. And you know, vegetable broth, it's expensive. It could be 3 it or $4 is. a carton. I hate packaging, personally. And so once you get an Instant Pot, broth becomes free. Now I want to hear about your most interesting life. This book is phenomenal. I love on the back how you say, think eating meat makes you macho think again. This dude has not eaten meat in 35, 35 years. And this is pretty macho. Pretty macho. Iron Man triathlete. Help. In the gym every day, working sh out. Shatter that myth about how real men don't eat plants, because obviously they do. Right. Well, uh, you know, I've been doing this for a long time, and my whole thing is to not just talk about it, but to actually go out and live it. I'm 52 years old. Wow. You I just great. Uh, competed in Cozumel Ironman and had set my personal record last Sunday. I'm in the gym every day, working out. Uh, doing CrossFit, you know, hitting the bags. Well, CrossFit, traditionally, a lot of those people are paleo. You're kind right. of the opposite of paleo. Right. Uh, I, yeah, I'm completely 100% plant-based, no dairy, no uh, eggs, meat, fish. And I've been doing it for a long time. And, uh, you know, I came from a world of violence. Um, I was in an abusive foster home for seven years as a oh. child. My father tried to murder my mother. Wow. He was a professional boxer, so I'd been around violence my whole life. And uh, I did two years upstate and uh, met some Rastafarians, a band called the Bad Brains, and right at the right time in my life because I was, you know, doing drugs and just crazy. I was a very violent person. 
So they enlightened me about yoga, meditation, and, and uh, plant-based food, and uh, the rest is history. I've been doing it and uh, speaking the gospel yeah. of plant-based living ever since, you know. You have a chapter, Living Proof, which I love, where you have photos of all these plant-based athletes. Bad dudes, man. I mean... Uh, UFC fighters, ultra Iron Man dudes, Rich Roll, Mac Danzig, Jake Shields. Unbelievable. You know, with photos. And they were yeah. all powered by plants. That's yeah. right, you know. So when was the moment that you decided to just shift your whole diet to a plant-based diet? Um, it, it can't, you know, they say, uh, necessity is the mother of invention. I was homeless. I was living on the streets of New York. I actually came out of lockup and went into the Navy. And then I was smuggling drugs in the Navy and just, I, I mean, I was completely out of control. And I went AWOL from the Navy, you know, and I was actually AWOL 15 years living <laughs> on the streets of New York and, and on MTV and everything. But the moment that that happened, um, you know, it was, you know, I had... No place to go, and and the bad brains, you know, let me stay at their studio and educated me on on food, and I started reading books on philosophy and yoga, and uh, really it was it was I just needed to change, and and uh, you know I knew that just by when I adhered uh, to that lifestyle, I I felt the change, you know, something clicked in my consciousness, and you know I I, I really uh, opened up new. Uh, doors in my life, you know. So I'm guessing being in a band, you probably travel a lot. All the time. When we come back, I'd love to hear how you're able to navigate this diet and lifestyle on the road. That sounds okay. good. And when we come back, we're going to show you how to make a delicious, healthy breakfast clafouti. Make sure you come right back. Hi, I'm Chef AJ, the host of Healthy Living. You know, as a professional chef, I have just about every kitchen appliance known to man. But my all-time favorite, the one that I absolutely could not live without, is the Instant Pot Electric Pressure Cooker. One of the things that I particularly love about the Instant Pot Electric Pressure Cooker is that it comes with a stainless steel insert. Many other electric pressure cookers come with nonstick inserts, so if you want to avoid the dangers associated with nonstick linings, the Instant Pot is the way to go. The Instant Pot not only saves me time, but it saves me money because instead of eating out at restaurants or eating processed food, I'm cooking whole foods like whole grains and legumes in no time. Things that take a really long time to cook on the stove, like beans that could take two and a half hours, can take as little as 10 minutes in the Instant Pot electric pressure cooker. Steel cut oats, for example, which take about an hour to cook on the stove, take only five minutes in the Instant Pot electric pressure cooker. And you can make delicious soups, stews, and chilies in less than 10 minutes. And many of these recipes are available free on my website, eatunprocessed.com. When I get home from work late, the last thing I want to do is cook. But with the Instant Pot, all I have to do is throw everything in, press a button, and walk away. I use that time to take a bubble bath, or take my dog for a walk. Who wants to slave over a hot stove? At the push of a button, you can have healthy, delicious meals in no time. I know what a lot of you are thinking, the last thing I need is another appliance to sit on my counter. But first of all, this is not just another appliance because this will replace at least four appliances that you might already have. In addition to being the world's finest electric pressure cooker, it's also a slow cooker. That's one tool already you can get rid of. It's also a rice cooker, so you no longer need your rice cooker, and it even makes yogurt. You can even bake a cake in the Instant Pot. I always joke with my husband that if there was a fire, I would grab my dog Sparky under one arm and my Instant Pot on the other arm. That's how much I love my Instant Pot. You know, ever since my book Unprocessed came out four years ago, I've been on the road 50 weeks a year. And I can honestly tell you that I travel with my Instant Pot electric pressure cooker so that I can cook healthy things like potatoes and greens in my hotel room. Instant Pot has agreed to offer a discount to all the viewers of Healthy Living. Simply go to their website, www.instantpot.com, and put in the code MYNAMEAJ for $50 off your Instant Pot. I know that you will love it as much as I do. Welcome back, everybody. I'm here in the kitchen with John Joseph, and we're going to make a breakfast clafouti. You had mentioned all the delicious things you eat for breakfast. I want to show you something 
really delicious. It's basically just fruit and oats, but the way it's baked up and configured, it, it almost tastes like dessert. So I'm starting with two pounds of sliced organic strawberries. You know the easiest way to slice strawberries, believe it or not, is with an egg slicer. Really? You get one oh. at the yeah, at the discount store. It, it's, it works really good. Also works on bananas, but we're going to cut these ourselves. Always want to make sure your bananas are nice and ripe with spots. Did you know that monkeys actually peel their bananas this way? Wow. And the reason Did is, not know well, that. think about it, it won't break. The other way, it always wow. breaks really easily. See, that? I'm see? Learning you learn something show. new every day. So since I'm going to see this way, when you peel it the regular way, sometimes. it just See, it doesn't do that the way the monkeys Don't break your it. banana, guys. <laughs> so since I'm cutting three bananas, I'm just going to line them up together because why bother cutting one and then doing it three times? So it's about a pound of bananas, but these were small bananas. So we're just going to slice these up really easily. I love bananas. Do you like bananas? I love them. I eat them every day. Do you ever make ice cream out of them? Oh, uh, I have, yeah. Isn't that fun? That, that you, can, you can make ice cream just with a banana. So equal, Frozen bananas, right? Right, with the frozen banana. Equal amount of strawberries and bananas, about a pound each. You probably could use any fruit in this, honestly, but the reason I choose bananas and strawberries is they're generally available everywhere all, right. all year round. I have here one jar, 10 ounces, of a fruit sweetened jam, which means there's nothing in it but the fruit, the whole fruit, and, and nothing, nothing but, but the, the whole fruit. fruit. Very good. And I'm just going to, you know what? Let's put you to work. Mix oh, this for Jesus, me. Jesus, man, I can't get a break. <laughs> Why not? Just mix I'm it real it good. mixing very well. Really good. Thank you. Yeah, just get it coated. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a delicious topping for it as soon as we put it in this right. pan. This is a silicone baking pan, a nine inch. I love using silicone because I don't eat oil. I follow Dr. Esselstyn, right. Dr. McDougall, and none of them recommend oil. So I use this because nothing sticks and it's oven safe to 400 yeah, I was bugging degrees. out that you, this looks rubbery it, and, it, and, and it came out of the it's oven. It's fantastic. They come in every shape and size, muffin pans, loaf pans, so that's great. You don't need any non-stick spray You don't, or you don't need any spray wow. so you can save calories, but you don't injure your endothelial cells. As Dr. Esselstyn talks about. You can just pour it in like okay. that. It looks good even now. Oh, yeah, we could yeah. eat it, you know. But we're going to we won't. It. Well, we're, wait. We, we are. We are going to eat it, and I think you're going to like it. It might give you an alternative to one of your breakfasts, which can fuel some of your workouts. Absolutely. Okay, so I'm going to just use this bowl. Whoa, whoa. Oh, no. Never waste food. No, no. <laughs> we were going to actually mix something in it, but right. very good. So this bowl is fine to use, even though it has okay. a little bit. Just spread it out evenly, and if you can use an 8-inch pan, a round pan, it doesn't matter. So this is just two cups of gluten-free oats that okay. I put in my Vitamix ground into a flour. And if you didn't want to, you probably could leave it whole. Half a cup of unsweetened applesauce. And this is a cup of juice from the pears that we're going to use in the whipped cream. So it's just unsweetened pear right. juice. You could use apple juice. Sorry if I got you wet. Just mix it together. Can I go yeah. back to work? Yeah, please. Thank you. <laughs> you gotta feel like I'm doing something. I love a man in a kitchen. There's nothing sexier than a man in the kitchen. Thank you very much. Kitchen. And you should see me when I'm in my Speedo in the kitchen. <laughs> That'll be for another show. <laughs> <laughs> While John is mixing the topping, I'm going to make a pear whipped cream out of pears. This is, a, this is a jar of pears, unsweetened, just in their own juice. So it's the equivalent of about three pears. Right. Okay. Then, Am I still stirring here? You know what you're going to do? You're going to put it on top now and spread oh, it evenly. I right. love having you help me because usually... I got to do it. Usually, and this this is how you learn. Now you go home and make this recipe for your beautiful girlfriend who's... Sexy girlfriend. You showed me her picture. She's a martial artist. She's a bikini... Bikini model wow. and uh, plant-based nutritionist. Sounds like life is good for you now, huh? Yeah, man. I got no complaints. Good. Trust me. So in my Vitamix, I've got the equivalent of three ripe pears, a third of a cup of raw cashews. You, you were talking at the break about how it's important to soak your nuts. Yes, guys, soak your nuts. There's an enzyme right. inhibitor in nuts, so you actually don't absorb all the nutrition when you eat them this way. But by soaking them overnight, you actually absorb more of the nutrients and the protein, and it doesn't cause gas. Good. Well, that's important. A tablespoon of alcohol-free vanilla. I'm just going to quickly blend this up in my Vitamix. And I'm going to add something, which is optional, but it's going to really help it thicken. It's called xanthan gum. 
Right. And it's one teaspoon. But if you couldn't find it or didn't want to use it, it would still be absolutely delicious. It doesn't do anything to the taste. It right. just makes it firmer. We're going to let this chill up. We're going to put this in the oven. But first, tell me how you eat healthfully when you're on the road so much. Because people ask me that all the time. Right. Well, uh, I'm either always traveling with my band, Crow Mags, or I'm traveling to do Iron Man. I'm doing mm -hmm. uh, Taiwan in, uh, in April. Wow. But uh, I travel. Uh, I take either my Nutribullet or my juicer on the road with me. I bring ingredients. But it's so easy now to travel and eat well. There's, especially in the United States, mm -hmm. there's Whole Foods everywhere. There's restaurants. I use the search engine Happy Cow. Right, Plus Good the one. city I'm in. And it tells me every single healthy place where I can get organic food, a, a market, a restaurant, or any kind of plant-based uh, option. And uh, that's how I do it. And I, I train every day on the road uh, when I'm on tour with my group. And, wow. You know. Were there any cities that were more difficult than others for finding healthy options? Uh, there's some in Germany where, you know, people love their schnitzel and all that <laughs> kind of crap. And uh, I heard there's actually a vegan grocery store chain in Germany called Vegans. Yes, I have been there. It's in Berlin, and uh, they it's an amazing store. Yeah. They have, uh, you know, I play in Berlin all the time. Nice. And, uh, you know, there's some cities that are a little difficult, but... Uh, you know, that's why even when I travel, it, you know what they say, if if you fail to prepare, you prepare right. to fail. Exactly. So if I hit Berlin and then I know I'm going somewhere and there's nothing to eat, I'll stock up in Berlin and bring all the food with me so then they, I can make it through the next couple of days. I never eat junk food on the road. Good for you. If people want to see you perform live or where you're touring, is there a website they can go to? Ah! Our soup is ready. Yeah, Yay. A, uh, yeah. you can go on the Cro-Mag uh, Facebook page or my page, John Joseph, or hit me up on Twitter, JJ Cro-Mag, J-J-C-R-O-M-A-G. Wonderful. And where can we find your book, Meat is for Pussies? Uh, it's in all the major bookstores, actually, HarperCollins. We did 10000 on our own, and then HarperCollins picked it up. It's available on Amazon and uh, in all the bookstores, or my website, purepma.com. PMA, what does that stand for? Positive Mental Attitude. And that's how I went from being a drug addict, jailbird, to what I'm doing these days at 52 years old. PMA. See? See? There's hope. Learn, taught to me by the bad brain. <laughs> There's hope for everybody. And you really can turn your life around. And healthy eating is a great way to start. We're going to pop this in the oven. When we come back, we're going to show you how to make an easy, delicious dessert recipe without any sugar. And John is going to help me finish it. So I'd love to. You just can take the lid off. All just, right. Yep. You release the pressure. Very I brave of you. The pressure. So it's all cooked up. So what I'm going to do? I know you love nut butter. This is cashew butter. Two tablespoons. We're going to wow. put it in at the that end. That smells amazing. It does. By the way, it's so good, and it's going to make it so nice now. and creamy. So this is called an immersion or a stick blender. And what we're going to do is we're going to blend the soup. So keep it on the bottom. Yeah. Don't keep it, it on the bottom soon. and move it around. Hey, hey. My job. Okay, <laughs> thank you so much. You could do this in your Vitamix blender. The thing is, is heat expands, so I think it's a little safer to use this, this right, tool. Right. You know, I used to teach healthy cooking to the blind at the Braille Institute, and I found when there was a tool that made it easier for the blind, it made it easier for... Can I just say you're amazing? Uh, well, can, I think can so. Can I say that? Thank you. Well, you're amazing, because what about your philanthropic work? Tell us about that. Um, well, I've been feeding the homeless plant-based meals in, uh, at Tompkins Square Park since 1982. One of the homes I was in, we were starved, for, we never got food. So it's kind of my way of paying back, paying it forward. Uh, I've done concerts that have been on MTV to feed the homeless and, you know, all kinds of uh, benefits and fundraisers to raise money to help feed Homeless people, organic, plant-based meals. Do you cook these meals, or do you? I help. I help cook uh, a lot of times, but uh, I have. But yeah. doesn't uh, that look delicious? Oh man, this is this is just coming together. Uh, and I also go around educating the youth about uh, how changing the diet can really change their whole life. I think it's good. That looks beautiful. Look at how creamy that is. Oh, wow. My God. So here's the thing. I don't think there's any dish that cannot be improved by the addition of kale. Loaded with nutrients. So let's let's just put some in. Okay. 
Okay. As much as will fit, right? And I, it, it, now you put it in last because you want to right. retain oh, a lot of the nutrients and, too. And right? not only that, if we put it at the beginning, it would cook down. It would become brown and so you know, three handfuls. Three is that handfuls, enough? Yeah. Just put one more in for good measure for and nutrients and good luck. And, and then let's luck. stir it up a little. If we blended it again, now it would turn green, which would be nice. Right. Nice. And you know what I do? Even if I'm eating any kind of soup, I always throw in some extra greens. Right. Because actually, the steam of the food will actually it's gonna steam cook it. these exactly. greens, and they'll be nice and tender. You and do soft. not. Need to, and you know, we can always oh my put, God. Look, that look beautiful, the color? I, I love, kale is oh. so nutritious. It's, it's getting really trendy now, the kale I know. chips and every. You ever, I noticed you had a recipe in your book for kale chips. Yeah. It's beautiful. Oh. Well, we'll get to that in a sec, but let me show you how to make a really delicious. Can I just leave this here? Or? Just leave it okay. there. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to make caramel apples. I don't know how you feel about sugar, but I was a complete sugar addict right. for 43 years, and it completely destroyed my health and so now I still have delicious desserts, but I use the fruit, the whole fruit, and nothing but, but the whole fruit. So I use dates. So what I did is I have these lovely medjool dates that I soaked overnight in water. Right. The dates have absorbed most of the water. You never want to throw that soap water out because that's gold. That's where right. all your sugar is. So you put and nutrients. It, nutrients. Well, that's the other thing. People say, oh, dates are so high in sugar. Well, so is sugar, but at least the sugar is bound to the fiber, so it mitigates the effect on your bloodstream I, when you eat the whole food with the fiber and the nutrients. I actually consume dates during Ironmans when that, I'm on the bike because the sugar you is need very, it. very good for your... Fuels uh, your race. Every, exactly. Yeah, right. So what is an Ironman? How many miles of each? You uh, swim 2.4 miles. Wow. And then you get out of the water, you bike 112, <sighs> and then you run a 26.2 mile marathon. That is insane. In one day. That is so... I don't know how you do it. So it's in the food processor fitted with the s -Lay. So what I've done is I've pureed the dates that were soaking in water. You can soak them in juice, unsweetened right. juice or non-dairy milk into this paste. Now, this is what it looks like in advance. So it sets up nice and firm so right, if you right. ate toast or something you can use this for all your it's sweet like a paste it right? is it's, yeah. it's actually called date paste but we don't want it this firm right now for what we're doing because we're making caramel apples so when i adopted a sugar-free diet in addition to my whole food plant-based diet in 2003 i was thinking i'm never going to get to eat caramel apples again they were my favorite and not just around halloween and then i learned about dates and how they could do everything that sugar could do, and I've been able to create delicious desserts. You know, I was a pastry chef for years, mm. executive vegan pastry chef at Sante Restaurant on La Brea, and all my desserts were made with dates. And nobody knew. I just didn't tell them. That's the other thing. When you make healthy food for people, don't tell them, you know. <laughs> just tell them it's delicious. Okay, so now here's what we're going to do, John. I'm going to give you a stick. I'm going to take a stick. We're using organic apples. It could be any apple. Green right. apples are probably really good in here, too, because they're a little tart. Right. Did you ever do this when you were little? My mom always said you twist this and you say the alphabet, and that's who you're going to marry. A, B, C. Interesting. My wow. husband's name is Charles. So what letter did you get? I didn't, I didn't do it. Oh, okay. So you I'm, stick the stick. You, <laughs> you were scared you were going to have to get married, huh? So you stick the stick in. When I do this, I look for apples that sit up nicely. And so now what we're going to do... And the topping is up to you. I, I know you love nuts, especially if you soak them first. I have These type of nuts. Right. These are raw, unsalted. We have pistachios, we have some peanuts, and we have some hemp hearts. Wow. Really high in omega-3 fatty acids. So look what wow, I'm look doing. Look how that sticks I'm to I'm twisting the it around, getting it nice and covered. I like to leave a little bit of the top showing, you know, so people right, know it's right, an apple. Right. And then what you do is you roll it in whatever. You know, cacao nibs would be good on here. Right, right. So you go. You do one, too. Okay. And you can do this. You can feed the homeless this on Halloween or whatever holiday you want. So do the, do the homeless p people you feed, do they like the plant-based food? It. That's great. You know, I love, you mentioned that you... You know, they say, and they say that if more people cook this kind of food, we, we would eat it. I mean, nothing against the, the other organizations that feed the homeless... Mm -hmm. 
But if you're only getting one meal a day, in some cases, you know, you really want it to be the most nutritious meal right. that they get to eat. And if it tastes great, they're going to... And, you know, you had mentioned that you were that you were in prison, and I bet they weren't feeding you very healthy food there. No, it was... You do I, good I, work. I, I, you know, you know you're very talented in the kitchen. Yeah, you know I mean, that? it's all institutional. Powdered eggs, powdered potatoes, Ooh, wow. meat that uh, God knows where it came from. The, the, the diets in... Um, prison are not good. What's so impressive about you, John, is you're not only eating a healthy, whole food, plant-based diet, but you are an Ironman triathlete, but you have a saying, or you, your girlfriend has a saying about the importance of diet. Right. Which uh, is? My girl Erica always says, you cannot out-train a bad diet, and I found that that's so true. You go to, I mean, I've been, I've been around gyms for the last 40 years, and you see what some of these guys eat in there. And it's just poisoning yeah. their bodies. And, you know, in terms of longevity, I want to be able to race Ironman and be in the gym mm -hmm. when I'm 65, when I'm 70. And I actually meet plant-based older athletes in their 70s, and they're still out there kicking butt, you know? That's, that's fantastic. Hey, what do you say we go crazy and add the rest of the kale? Let's go nuts. Let's do it. Since you and me are the ones that are going to eat it, I you mean, know? this whole pot, you crazy? No such thing as too much kale, right? And I think when you chop it finely, it makes it just a little bit oh, yeah, more it. delicious, especially for exactly. people that aren't used to eating it. You don't want to give them a huge hunk of kale in their mouth. And These apples look stirring. beautiful. You can keep stirring. You can cook with me anytime. I will do that. Don't go away because right after the short break, we're going to come back, take the clafouti out of the oven, plate everything up, and taste it. So here's what we made today with the help of my new best friend, John Joseph. JJ. JJ. And AJ. We're a team. Delicious, creamy <laughs> wow. cauliflower soup with a lot of kale. Amazing. A warm breakfast clafouti with a pear whipped cream and our caramel apples made with dates. No sugar, no dairy. No crap, as you say, in any of this. What would you like to try first? I'm going to, I'm going to, I want to try this soup. Well, I got to train later. I want to, I want to be the first to test it. It looks beautiful. I'd taste it too, but they only give me one spoon. <laughs> I always say my prayers. Om Tat Sat. Hare Krishna. Thanks a lot. Does it taste as good as it looks? Oh my God. It's good. You made it. I made it. The kale is still a little crunchy. Which I like, yes, actually. Yes, it's not too soft, but you can taste everything in there. You think mm. you might get a, a pressure cooker now? now I'm that definitely you can, getting yeah. a pressure cooker, yo. That The state didn't raise no food. Isn't it sexy when men eat plants, you guys? Come on. Thank you so much, John Joseph, for joining me. I love your book, Meat is for Pussies. I especially love the subtitle, A How-To Guide for Dudes Who Want to Get Fit, Kick Ass, and Take Names. That's how we do it. it on the streets of New York. Yeah. Even on the streets of L.A. where I'm from. And thank you so much for watching another episode of Healthy Living. I'm Chef AJ, and with the help of John Joseph, we made healthy taste delicious. Love and kale. PMA.